onboard Gemini, which is a 22 foot uh, Bondwood and Dynell cabin cruiser, uh, built by my father and launched in 1975. Uh, intended to be the family the family boat. Mum didn't like boating so much, so it really just became Dad's fishing boat. Um, Dad was a uh, professional boat builder, built cray boats and the like, and uh, he took some time away from work to, to build Gemini. Uh, initially, it's fitted with a 130 horsepower Volvo Penta inboard outboard uh, with a, a 270 leg. It's a very economical engine, but was probably always a little bit underpowered, um, and towards the end of its life, became a bit unreliable. Uh, so the decision was made to repower. Uh, so I spoke to the guys at High Tech, um, we decided the 200 was probably going to be plenty. Um, so it used to top out around probably 18, 19 knots uh, before, which was comfortably on the plane, but, um, but pushing it, um, if I can say, we've, we've just touched about 36, 37 uh, on its initial run. Uh, very smooth and powerful. Um, the guys have done a great job wiring it up. Fitted a lot of extra features that I wanted, uh, automatic bilge pump and the dual battery switching system, um, as well as the vessel view um, instrumentation. So very excited to uh, spend a bit more time on the boat and get it up to Shark Bay. So thanks to the guys at High Tech, thanks to Caleb for the great job he's done. Um, oh, something else was uh, the bilge pump and the wiring was all hidden completely from view. So if Caleb shows you the, the transom. Uh, at some point you'll see there's, there's nothing to be seen as far as wires or pumping or uh, whatnot. So thanks very much guys.